Why is it called Linux? Because it was developed by a Finnish programmer named Linus Torvalds. Linus Torvalds is a 28-year-old software engineer from Sweden. In 1991, when he was a student at Helsinki University in Finland, he wanted to buy a personal computer, but he was not happy with the choice of operating systems. The problem was uh, the machine is just half of what you need. The other part is the software, and quite frankly, it just sucked. So Linus developed his own operating system, one he could afford, based on Unix. I had been programming half my life at that point. I was 21, 20, yeah, 20, 21. And I, I just knew that I was the best programmer in the world. I mean, I was young, I was brash. Uh, and I thought, hey, I can do better than this. Lennox grew from one user to 10 in its first year, then a few hundred. As more programmers discovered it, they added their own features. Today, there are well over 5 million users, and the software is still open source and completely free. Thanks to a lot of programmers all around the world. I mean, it's, it's, it's been a lot of people working on it. But even the people who haven't actually made contributions in the form of code, uh, there are lots of people who have contributed in testing out things, even when they didn't intend to. They, they did, by using it, they tested it. Lennox took another leap in popularity this year when major computer companies, including Netscape and Oracle, announced their support of the operating system. There is plenty of free software available through the internet, but few commercial applications so far. So how can Linux compete with Microsoft Windows? Linus says the difference is in the way it competes. Linux doesn't compete on the terms of the marketplace. Uh, Linux competes on its own terms, which is that, yes, you can buy it on a CD, but A, if you buy one CD, you can install it legally on 100 machines. Uh, and if you don't want to buy the, uh, the CD, you can actually install it directly over the internet. If Linux is given away free of charge, how can anyone build a business selling it? VA Research is one company that is not concerned by the lack of licensing fees. VA has built complete ready-to-use Linux systems since 1993. The company now ships an average of 20 systems a day. They are no threat to Dell or Compaq yet. They're dependent on what works best for Microsoft. On the other hand, we have a lot of leeway there and we have a lot of things that that we can do to make those things better. We can add to Linux. We can develop code in Linux where it makes things more stable, more reliable, and supporting our hardware and our customers better. For Linus Torvalds, his creation may not provide him with a paycheck, but there are other rewards. It's great for your kind of self-esteem to have people use your system and really enjoy using it. It's a, it's a great feeling. You, I mean, I, I feel that I've done something relevant. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Sarah O'Brien.